Well, welcome back again to our FN session. We did introduce the topic marriage, and in a previous lesson, we did look at uh, the traditional approach and preparation for marriage. We did say that in traditional African society, the boy and girl were prepared before marriage, right? We did talk of the courtship period. This is the period whereby the girl and the boy were to know, got to know about, uh, got to know of each other before moving in as a husband and wife. Now, today's class, we get to look at the Christian approach and preparation. How Christians prepared, right? What is the approach of the Christians to marriage? Welcome all and let us learn. Your teacher is Roger Shira and the station you're watching is uh, Lim TV. Now, by the end of the lesson, we get to discuss how Christians are prepared for marriage. Now, can I get to see how Christians are prepared? One, Christians get to organize youth seminars, right? Rallies to teach how to choose marriage partners and how to treat wife, husband, care for the children, behave towards in towards in laws, uh, the, the in laws, acquire wealth, right? That's for men and head the family. Now, look here. In church, we always see youth seminars, right? We always see youth rallies, good youth conferences. Now, class, this is the time the youth are taught on how to choose a marriage partner, right? This is how, this is when the boys are taught to be men. These are when girls are taught to be women, husbands and wives, right? This is, this is when responsibilities of a husband in a family is spelled out. This is when responsibilities of a woman is spelled out. Good? Now, youth are also taught to avoid sexual intimacy before marriage. Right? That's premarital sex. Now, those intending to marry are encouraged to go for premarital counseling. Yes. For example, you are, you are, you are in a youth seminar. Well and good. You identify your spouse. Hey, she's good. Yes, she's beautiful. She has got the qualities that I need. Then you are advised to go for premarital counseling. Now, also, during counseling, they are informed that love is the most important bond of unity in marriage, right? Now, the church encourages the partners to go for HIV, HIV test. Look at that. <coughs> Sorry. Look at that. They are, they, 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 that's the youth seminar now, right? That's the youth seminar. You can see that. That's the youth seminar. They are in a seminar, right? This is now the time they get to identify their spouse, right? Look at that. Yes, you can see that. These are youth seminars now. You can see there's a boy and girl, boy and girl, boy and girl, boy and girl. Now, a wedding ceremony is conducted in church where the couple exchange vows in front of a congregation. A church leader, a pastor or a priest joins the marriage after the couple has shown commitment. Yes, it's conducted in a church where you see they, they get to take vows. For example, if it's the bride, I, yes, blah, blah, right? I've, 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 I've decided to take this as my, my, my husband, right? In terms of good, in terms of uh, uh, bad times, good. All those vows, they get to take those, they get to take those vows. Now, how do you choose a marriage partner in the Christian, uh, in the Christian, in the Christian society today? Now, there are many ways you identify a marriage partner. One, it can be arranged by parents. Yes. If not one can make an individual decision and choose a wife or a husband, then is when, hey, there are people who can stay for long without uh, uh, getting, a, get, get, getting to bring a wife home, right? Or getting to find a husband. Yes. Now, it goes now to the parents. A, decision, a parent's decision. They get to decide when to, to marry. No, no, no. They get to decide on who you are going to marry. That's arrangement by parents. So you might be coming from work one, one, one fine day. Then you'd be surprised you, you, you're getting, you're getting a, a, a woman in your house and they tell you, yes, take her for, take her for, you go and sleep. Yes, it's, and, and, and they're always brought during the night. You, get, you come and get someone in your room and uh, you take her as wife and husband. Now, um, through an intermediary or a third party, yes, I can identify a certain girl and say, hey, you, you, you use a friend, can you go and talk to her? Tell her I'm in love. We come and stay. Good. Third party. Now, in, in, in African tradition of polygamous marriage, the first wife identified a wife for the husband. Yes. In the tradition of African society, whereby a third wife could identify 
So the first wife would identify a wife for the husband. It was allowed. And finally, girls would be given out to achieve as a gift. This was very common in traditional African society. For our task, there is a task on your screen. Kindly get to solve that. How can one choose a marriage partner? And for our reference, get to use the reference, uh, the reference that is on our screen. And as always, this is Elim TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Stay tuned for more lessons.